on a simple yes or no, Jason. If you think that I can help you get inside information on the Zakara organization, something that you can't get from your own sources, will it help keep Spinelli out of federal custody? I mean, depending on what you come up with, yeah, okay. Okay, that's it. It is settled. I'm going to pursue okay, getting a I'm job not, from I'm Anthony. Gonna, I'm not going to tell you what to do, okay? You just need to be smart because it's not going to do Spinelli any good if you get yourself killed. All right, I have three things working in my favor with Anthony, my past with you, my present with Lucky, and, of course, because my mother's the DA. How does any of that help? Because I think it'll make Anthony less likely to kill me. Too much fallout. Well, uh, Anthony could just not hire you. How about that? Okay, how about that? That That is a point. But I am counting on the fact that Anthony is not a linear thinker. He likes to keep the people around him off balance. And Rick warning him not to hire me may make him more inclined to do it. Plus, he is perverse and unpredictable, which makes him very... Very easy to manipulate. Okay, one thing you don't want to do is get overconfident. You do not want to underestimate Anthony as a car. He did not get to where he is right now by being stupid. Okay, I hear you. Okay. Now, if he gives you an assignment, I need to know where and when. Okay. Okay, and if you get in trouble, don't be too proud to yell for backup. Deal. Jacko can no longer stand silently on the sidelines and allow others to take up his cause. He demands the right to participate in the events of his own life. Talk to Sam, I gotta go. Do my ears deceive me? Now Fair Samantha is in the jackal saving business too? This is the final nail in my coffin of wimpdom. <laughs> okay, well that's actually nice to see that in a world gone mad, some things do stay the same. Oh, well, is the repass to Fair Samantha's liking? Yes, it's perfect. Thank you. Uh, hey, um, forgive my rudeness earlier. I've just been a little distracted. Yeah, it's understandable. But, but this is, is, a, is such a welcome oasis in the eye of the storm. Getting to catch up. <laughs> oh, can I can I get you anything else? No. Nope. Uh-uh. I'm good. You don't have to wait on me, hand and foot. And, you know, I, I do actually know where things are a little bit anyway. <laughs> From your time in residence, yeah. of course. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it is, it is fascinating how certain events reshape themselves. I mean, the first time I came to Costa Stone Cold, you were the tenant, and I was the visitor. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Indeed. Fair Samantha has moved on. Yes, she has. <laughs> <laughs> Might I inquire as to any of your current activities? I mean, do you have any special projects going on? Or If I didn't know you any better, I would say that you were working me. The Jekyll values his friendship with Fair Samantha far too much to work her. I was merely expressing my interest in the current status of your life, which is always so entertainingly adventurous. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Well, yesterday I went to the spa. Oh. And I had the most amazing massage. You don't say. And, um, let's see, I was gonna get a pedicure. Aha, uh -huh, you are terrible at this, I told you. Add it to the ever-expanding list of things. <sighs> okay. Look, you're really sweet, so why don't we just put everything out on the table? I know you're probably wondering if Jason made a deal with the feds to keep you out of prison, and that I would know what it is, and that I would tell you. Yeah, first Samantha has hit the proverbial nail on the head. See, it, it, it's not right that Stone Cold would put himself in such an untenable position and not allow the Jackal to assume his fair share of responsibility and blame when the whole thing could have been avoided had the Jackal not been so arrogant is to think he was unhackable. Okay, I'm not really sure I understand everything that you just said, but all I can tell you is what you already know, Spinelli. Jason said that he would handle it, and he will. You've got to trust him. Just trust him, okay? Thank you for the snacks. I'm gonna go. Okay. All right? Good to see you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, you know, before being asked, I'm just gonna retreat to my regrettably pink room to get out of your way. Uh, what are you, what are you doing? Nothing. I, I just, I have, 
I had much to do, many projects, and much labor to reclaim my rightful place in the What were you working on when I just came in? I was attempting to hack into the FBI mainframe to ascertain the nature of the unholy deal that Stone Cold struck to save me. Okay, so just let, let me get this straight. The FBI arrests you for treason and crimes against the government, and your response is to hack them again? You left me no choice. The room's a sign. Get another one. Here's some federal one. You're a genius on the computer, but you're not exactly a bright light in real life, are you? That is the consensus in many quarters, yes? You realize that the FBI has strong evidence against you, and that the massive federal security breaches you committed online amount to espionage and high treason? Yes. You further understand that if you are convicted of any of these crimes, you will spend the rest of your life in prison and that the death penalty is not entirely out of the question. Most regrettably, yes. I ran the sting against you. It took years. I'll probably get a citation. On my orders, we dragged you out of this police station and you were on your way to a federal penitentiary to await trial in solitary confinement. You don't say. You further understand that the charges against you have been withdrawn. However, they can be reinstated by me for any reason at any time. I understand. I... Then why in hell would you ask me for a meeting? With deepest respect and a keen awareness of the seriousness of the situation, I must ask the fearsome Federal One why he chose to set me free. <laughs> 